Hello and welcome back to the second part of this tutorial. Today we will see this device in action, then we will go back to the lab and we will learn how to make one. Ok, now we will start the car normally before installing the device. This car already have an alarm system built in, but it won't prevent the theft, it will only alarm you that someone is trying to get into the car. To install the device, locate the fuse box and look for the engine fuse. Remove it and plug the anti-theft system. Hook the ground wire to any unpainted metallic surface and you are good to go. Now we will start the car and disable the system by sending a signal via the remote. As we can see, the car didn't stop and you can drive without any problem. Let's try that again. Now let's simulate a robbery. We will start the car without disabling the system. As we can see, after 10 seconds, the car stopped and I was not able to start it again. Now, let's go back to the lab and try to make one of these. To make the remote, you will need an Arduino, an XB, a 10K resistor, a push button, some jumper wires, and a 9V battery with terminal. First, plug the XP into the breadboard, then place the push button and the pull-up resistor. Plug the Arduino into the breadboard and let's wire it. Plug the ground and the 3.3 volts of the XB to the Arduino and connect RX to TX and TX to RX. This XB should be in 80 mode as a coordinator. Refer to our previous video to learn how to set your XB. Connect the resistor to ground and the other end of the push button to 5 volts. Now let's program. You will find the link to all the files in the description. Open your Arduino software and upload the sketch. Now, let's test it with our pre-made device. The remote is working properly. All you have to do is solder everything together and put it in a project box. Now, let's make the main device. We will need an XB, a relay circuit, refer to our tutorial about relays to learn how to make one, an Arduino Nano, jumper wires, some LEDs to test, and of course your car fuse. Program your XB to be in 80 mode as an endpoint. Start by placing everything on the breadboard. Let's wire RX to TX and TX to RX from the XP to the Arduino. Wire 3.3 volts and the ground as well. Connect the relays ground and 5 volt to the Arduino and the data pin to digital pin number 2. The common wire on the relay will be going to one pole on the car's fuse and to VN on the Arduino so it will be powered by the car's battery. 
don't forget to brown the Arduino to any unpainted metallic surface on the car. I will use three LEDs here as an example to simulate the results. The LEDs are connected to the normally closed pin of the relay and to ground. Now let's program the Arduino. Don't forget to remove the RX and TX pins from the Arduino, otherwise you will have an EVR dude error. Upload the sketch and let's check it out. Let's supply the device with 12 volts. The LEDs turned on for 10 seconds, then turned off because they didn't receive any signal from the remote. Let's bring the remote and try it if it works. As you can see, the two XBs communicate together and we can trigger the relay to turn the LEDs on and off. Now let's turn it on and disable the system. You can see that the LEDs stayed on. To make it compatible for your car, get a fuse and remove the plastic part. Cut the poles apart and solder one to the common and the other to the normally cloak. Then bring a wire from the Arduino ground to complete the circuit. It is important to use the appropriate gauge wire and to fuse the wire going from the normally closed to the car. I am currently developing a version with GPS JSM capabilities that interacts with your phone, providing you with real-time GPS locations and much more awesome features. Leave a comment if you are interested in a video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this project. Make sure to subscribe to get our newest videos and click on the link below to watch the first part of this tutorial. Thank you.